Jake here. Today we're going to mill this cupped and warped piece of cherry. Here we go. I want to use this piece of cherry on an upcoming project. It has a couple of problems that we'll talk about in a minute. But for right now, I need to take the measurements off of it and go to the computer and come up with a flattening pass for it. If you don't like the computer stuff, I'll put a timestamp right here and in the description so you can just skip past this and get right to the action. Here we go. Here we are at the home page of Aspire. We're going to come over here to create a new file. I've already put the measurements in here and I want just a tiny bit bigger than what it really is because I want to make sure the whole thing gets milled. So I put 10 and a quarter, 30 by three quarters and it's three inches thick right now. We're going to go off the material surface and we're going to go in the lower left hand corner for the X and Y. So let's start right there. So all I'm going to do is come over here and grab this square tool and I'm going to make a rectangle the exact size of this. I'm going to close out of this, double click that and then I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger and I'm going to hit shift and then make it just a little bit bigger and all I want to do is just make sure I get the corners milled too and that's probably going to be good enough come over here to the tool path and we're going to pin that and we want to make a, a pocketing tool path and the cut depth I want to go to one tenth of an inch so we'll come over here to the end mill and we'll select that and it's the two inch end mill you can go past depth of an eighth of an inch but we don't want to do that all we're going is is one tenth of an inch this is how you do it over here if you want to adjust this you can change this to and that'll change to how wide the pass is going to be or whatever we're going to go to about 46 and then your feed rate is 40 inches a minute you can go more or less if it's burning or or not cutting clean you can mess with these things here i'm going to leave it at 40 for right now and then we're going to hit apply and okay so that's that's all we need to do here we're going to calculate and we're going to slow this down a little bit preview visible tool paths we're not going to slow it down that much and we're going to look over here and make sure it got the corners we'll blow this up Looks like it got the corners to me. So we're going to close this. Save tool path. There's only one, so we can't mess it up. Just save the tool path. And I'm going to say it's um, flat. And I'm just going to say it's flat. We're going to save it. We're going to put it on jump drive and go out to the machine. Now the problems that this board has is one, it's cupped. So if you look, if you look right here, there's a big gap in there, which means in the center of this on the top is higher than the than the edges. And that's okay because we're just we'll just set our depth for our bit at the highest point and go from there. If we have to make several passes, we have to make several passes. The other thing wrong with this is it's warped. So how when I put this down to this spoil board. I'm going to use some old business cards. I'll use the same on each opposite corner right here and right here until it stops moving. Here's the flattening bit we're going to use. It's from Tools Today. I have some links below to stuff I use. This thing comes with the inserts are for MDF. So if you're going to do hardwoods with it, you need to buy the extra the inserts for hardwood. And I've done that and I have them changed. Uh, one of the little tip I can tell you is it's real hard to find the exact corner of this piece of material with a two inch cutter. So right now the machine has a 60 degree bit in it 
I'm gonna find I'm gonna find the exact point on this with that so because this is you're not gonna be able to do it very well if you're not familiar with the handheld controller on this machine I have a video I did a review on the machine and I go over in depth on how to use the controller there'll be a video up there so now I guess all that's left to do is cue some music and let's start doing this here we go Stop me just a second, just a second away from all the pain. You told me if I leave, then no one gains. And it feels like you smashed me with a hammer. I'm ready to see we fell apart. I'm ready to believe you have a heart. And then you said, hey, we can build it all up again. We can leave with more than train. I could try to get over you, but I will never love again. Hey. Back home again. I said, Hey, you found me like a fiction, but I'm ready to see we're both a part of it. Could be the start of it, cause I know you're the missing piece of puzzle. You're the queen of my car, ha 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 ha. So you're in my heart. Try to get over you, but I will never love again Hey, we can build it all up again We can dance in the summer rain I know we can find it and keep it We'll get back home again Stop me just a second, just a second away from all the pain You told me if I leave, then no one gains Hey, we can build it all up again We can leave with more than train I could try to get over you, but I will never love again Hey, we can build it all up again We can dance in the summer rain I know we can find it and keep it We'll get back hey, home again Hey, Up out of this we took the warp out of it this is almost perfectly parallel it's within a couple of thousands from this end to this end the the bit I use the tools today bit it, it's that's a pretty cool thing and I use these clamps I, I did this on the last video I, I had these and somebody mentioned about these these are just a way a lower profile and they're plastic and stuff but they work really good and I'll and I'm just glad to have both of them here now so I can be picky about which ones I use. If this is your first time here, go ahead and subscribe and comment, share and all that stuff. And if you have any questions, go ahead and put them in the comments below. If I can't answer it, then I'll put Laguna's number in the, com in the description below. And we'll see you next time. Y'all be good. Summer rain. I know we can find it and keep it, we'll get back home again.